guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just gonna give you a mini bookshelf tour of all the books I have with me at college. My huge bookshelves are obviously back at my parents' house. If you haven't seen those bookshelf tours, I will link them down below to go and check them out. But today I'm just gonna show you what I have here with me in college at university. I do switch them out sometimes because I will take books with me from here that I've read and put them in my shelf at home. But this is the current state as it stands, December 2016. So this is an overview of of my little bookshelf right here. It's not just my bookshelf, it's also my nightstand, so that's why there's a random collection of stuff on here. Um, just above my bed, I keep this picture, which I really, really like, and I thought it included as well. It used to be my grandparents, and they kept it in their office, and now I have it here because I just love it so much. And then let's start from this side. So I have this really, really old lamp. I really want to get a new one, but this is the only one that was here. And then it's just sitting on top of a bunch of Japanese books. The very top one here is actually my diary. It is one of these Laney books. I love them. I really like to um, fill these up and then just get a new one because they have a series of these. And Laney books are really the best notebooks if you're looking for some. I love them. They're so beautiful. And then as I said, below them are just Japanese books. So there are three kanji books, a grammar book, another grammar book, and then one of that's just like general Japanese studies. Over here I have the cutest coaster that I think is pretty dirty. I should clean it. Um, this was actually given to me by a friend. I thought it was so cute and vintage looking and I just put my coffee and tea on here when I sit in bed and relax. Next to that I just keep some hand lotion, chewing gum and lip balm. And over here we're starting with the book. So this is the book I'm currently reading. So this is The Night Watch by Sergei Lukyanenko. I'm sorry, I don't speak Russian. But this is what I'm currently reading. I actually just picked this up today, so I'm not too far into it yet. Behind that, I have this little owl um, that used to be a candle. I actually got this at Primark, oops, and there was a candle in it, but I burned it and now I'm using it as a little bookend because I think it is so adorable. And as you can see, now that I'm taking it away, everything is falling apart, so I'm sorry, this is gonna be a bit messy. So also behind here, I keep this little picture because I think it's so pretty. So up here on top of all my other books, I just keep the ones I have already read so that I don't forget to wrap them up. This is Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman and Der Aufmacher, Der Mann, der bei Bild Hans Esser war, by Günther Wallraff, which is obviously in German. And then let's start from the side. So here I just have some Japanese books. The first is Sekai Kara, Boku ga and this is a book that I have started like months ago as you can see I'm about halfway through but I have yet to finish it and then I have two more books here as you can see they're also in Japanese and I think that they're crime stories next I have Eating Animals by Jonathan Safran Foer I actually already read this and I did a review on this and like a discussion video if you want to see that I'll link it on the screen and down below the next one is The Island of Dr. Moreau by H.G. Wells I got this one because I was reading The Mad Men's Daughter, which is basically a new retelling of this one. So I wanted to read the original, but then I kind of didn't do that yet. So that's why I brought it, because I thought maybe that would motivate me more. Next is Second Life by S.G. Watson, who is also the author of Before I Go to Sleep, one of my favorite books ever. I hate this cover, but I'm hoping the book is going to be good. This is The Republic of Thieves by Scott Lynch. And yes, everything is falling. This is book three in the Gentleman Bastard sequence, and I just really need to continue that because I actually really enjoyed it. Then we have In the Miso Soup by Ryu Murakami, which I think has the coolest cover I have ever seen. This book is set in Tokyo, and it was actually originally written in Japanese, so I'm hoping if I read it in English first, I can then read it in Japanese. Now some books that I've technically started, but not gotten very far, is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me and Other Concerns by Mindy Kaling. Next is Jojo Moy's Me Before You, which I've also started, but but just wasn't in the mood for contemporaries at that point. This is Ichikyu Hachiyon by Murakami Haruki. It's the complete trilogy in English and it is the biggest book that has ever existed, I believe. Then we have The Chrysanthemum and the Sword by Ruth Benedict, which is a non-fiction book about the Japanese culture. I'm pretty sure this is the only... YA book here, The Eternity Cure by Julie Kagawa, which is the sequel to The Immortal Rules. When I read The Immortal Rules, I think last year, I actually really enjoyed it, so I'm hoping that the sequel will also be good. Next, I have this, which is Mach dieses Buch fertig, I think. I'm not sure what this is actually called in English, but it's one of these books that you're supposed to destroy. <laughs> and my friends gave this to me for my birthday, and this is the biggest challenge for me. I haven't actually started yet, because I cannot get myself to destroy a book, but... I will. I will at some point 
muster up the strength to actually do that. Next is The Vegetarian by Han Kang. I think this book looks so cool and I cannot wait to start it actually. This is actually a book by one of my teachers from my journalism classes. This is about the history of media and I actually need to study some parts of this for an exam. Next is a book on yoga that is just a collection I think of like tips and yoga postures and stuff like that. And then finally I have The Vegan Kitchen by Tony and Yvonne Bishop Weston and it is a cookbook as well as some practical tips on how to be vegan and how to do it in a way where you're not harming yourself. My boyfriend gave this to me for my birthday and I have looked into it and I'm excited to actually start some things from there. So that's it for my mini bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like and click the subscribe button and check out my other bookshelf tours if you haven't done so already. I'm gonna see you soon. Have a lovely week. Bye!